Face Motion 3D is an iOS application for facial motion capture. It can communicate in real time with 3D CG software on the PC side. Here is an explanation of how to install Face Motion 3D. First, search for Face Motion 3D in the App Store and install it. The installation of this application is free, but there is an in-app purchase. Then go to the website and go to the downloads page. Click on the Unity plugin button and download the file from Google Drive for Windows or Mac. After downloading the file from the website, unzip the zip file. Once the zip file is unzipped, you will find a sample Unity app in the folder. With the iOS app Face Motion 3D open. Open the Unity app and it will automatically connect and start facial motion capture. You may see a firewall warning, in that case, please allow the firewall. If it does not connect automatically, press the settings button in the iOS app and check the IP address of your iPhone. Enter the IP address into the Unity app and try to connect. You can check if the connection works fine in your environment. Now, let's actually use the script. Let's drag and drop the sample FBX file and script from the file downloaded into Unity. Load the FBX into your scene. This FBX file has 52 blend shapes that are compatible with Apple Arcade. Use these blend shape names as a reference to create your avatar. Note that when importing models exported from Maya into Unity, the blend shape names will have a prefix. To communicate, attach the script file to a game object somewhere in the scene using drag and drop. You can attach the script file anywhere. You can attach it to light, camera, etc. Look at the inspector of the game object to which you have attached the script. In the FaceMotion 3D script file, there are several configuration items. There is a checkbox called Game Start with Connect. Below that, there is also a field called iOS underscore IP address. In iOS underscore IP address, enter the IP address of your iPhone. When you start the game with the Game Start with Connect checkbox turned on, it will connect to the iOS app. You can see that the sample avatar is running even though there is nothing special set up on the Unity side. There are two ways to specify the object name in FaceMotion 3D from the iOS app side, and from the Unity side. The following steps will explain them. This section explains how to specify the object name of an avatar in an iOS app. Go to the Settings button in the iOS app to Streaming Settings and switch the software name to Unity. The sample avatar in Unity works based on the settings in this iOS app. I think the most difficult setting to understand is the face object group name. If you enter the name of a game object in face object group name, it will check if all the children in the hierarchy of the game object with that name have a blend shape and move the blend shape. For example, if you have an avatar that has separate skin and eyelashes, enter the name of the group that contains them here. The others are bone names, so they should be easy to understand. FaceMotion 3D can get the translation values X, Y, Z of the head. So if you enter the name of a game object in head, position, object name, the translate value of that object will move. By setting the weight, you can fine-tune the amount of rotation of the bone. The axis setting of the bone can be used to change the rotation direction. 
for models exported from Maya. The blend shape name will have a prefix value, but you can also set the prefix value in the app. Blend shape name remap can be used to change the Apple blend shape name and send it. This section explains how to specify the avatar's object name inside Unity. If you turn on the Specify Object Name Inside Unity checkbox, many of the settings in the iOS app will be ignored and will work with the Unity settings. If you enter the name of a game object in Face Object Group Name, it will check if all children in the hierarchy of the game object with that name have a blend shape and move the blend shape. For example, if you have an avatar that has separate skin and eyelashes, enter the name of the group that contains them here. The bone name can also be specified on the Unity side. This section explains how to communicate using TCP, IP. FaceMotion 3D usually uses the UDP communication standard. Although UDP is capable of high-speed communication, the transmitted data may be interrupted once every few frames. If you are concerned about such behavior, please turn on the TCP checkbox. If you want to use TCP, you need to find out the IP address of your PC and enter it. Although TCP, IP is slower than UDP, it provides more accurate communication. You need to change the protocol to TCP, IP in the Unity settings in the iOS app as well. Many iOS app users find that their avatar's eyes are too small or the mouth is half open when face tracking. The way to solve these problems is to calibrate the blend shape. FaceMotion 3D has a reset button that you can press to calibrate. There is one setting that needs to be made before this. Go to Behavior of Reset button and turn on Calibration of the Blend Shapes. If you do this, it will be calibrated when you press the reset button. The values at the time of calibration are included in adjusting the motion weight. You can see that the min value of some blend shapes is negative. You can also adjust this value manually. In iOS face tracking, when you smile, your eyebrows will wrinkle. In adjusting the motion weight, there is a feature called Reduce Andre Eyebrows. If you don't like those wrinkles, try turning it on. It also has several features such as smooth blink and smooth eye rotation. Many more features will be added in the future, so please try them out.